Okay, thanks to my Google Plus buddy, uh, Bruce Turner, I have this adapter now. Let me see if I can open this up, uh, just so you can look at it a little closer there, what it's called. I got this from Amazon in one day, shipping. Amazon is unbelievable. I ordered it yesterday, which was Sunday. I got it today. And here is the adapter. Camera focus in. And this plugs into the iPhone, earphone jack, and so forth. This plugs into an XLR mic. And this I can plug in headphones to play back and monitor and check everything. So I'm going to plug it in and test it. I like this six foot cable for interview purposes. You don't have a whole lot of extra cable that for people to trip on and so on and so forth. Usually you're going to be about this distance away or even closer. Um, now, you can of course use a longer cable if you want to and I will test this with like a 12 foot cable to make sure it works okay. Um, but the other thing that I would recommend doing is having two of these adapter cables. It's about 30 bucks so yes, you're you're spending an additional 30 bucks, but if this adapter cable fails in the field, you're kind of out of business with this rig. So the, the adapter cable is critical. Um, this SM58 mic, these are extremely rugged microphones. Uh, they throw them on stage and, and jump on them, and I mean, these things are very rugged, so I, I don't think you have to have a backup of that, and that's about a $100 mic, so that's a good thing. If you get a good quality cable, you probably don't have to have a backup of that, but you might want to. Um, but I would definitely recommend a, a high quality cable as opposed to the, the bargain basement ones. They will fail on you. So anyway, this is the solution that, that um, I think for interviews in the field would be very good. Now I'm not in a high noise environment here and the acoustics in this room are pretty good. There's a lot of like furniture and things like that to help with acoustics. But um, out in the field you're gonna have wind noise, you're going to have uh, a lot of ambient noise, uh, so you want to mic the people up and you, and you want them talking kind of close to the mic and hopefully that'll help isolate some of that other noise away. Now if it's windy you can put a wind sock on this to help buffer the wind, wind noise and I definitely have those in my kit as well. So anyway, that's it um, for this, uh, this little quickie interview setup for shooting with an iPhone. I'm going to next try this with my NEX7 camera to see if it also works with that. Thanks for tuning in. Craigship.com. Okay, we have a blinking light, which means that I am recording. Untwist this cable. There we go. We are recording. By the way, a postal truck just drove by. I don't know if you picked that up or not. Um, the purpose of this test is to see if my voice is isolated from all the other noise out here and the wind noise. It's breezy right now. It's probably 15 to 20 mile per hour breezes here. Um, and so we've got a little bit of traffic off in the distance and an occasional motorcycle going by or whatever. And like I say, the postal truck just went by at the beginning of this. And this is typical. When you're out in the field and you're interviewing someone, you're going to have a lot of ambient noise. You can't always control the environment. And if you're indoors, you're going to be in a situation where sometimes you have high ceilings and you have tile floors and you have empty area where you got a lot of echoes and so forth and maybe somebody making noises off in the distance echoing all around the room and so you want to try to isolate the voice of whoever it is that you're interviewing and that's what we're doing right now with this adapter cable which I have another blog post about this cable um, this adapter cable is, is hooked right into my iPhone 4s and then um, it it has an XLR plug that I have this six foot XLR cable plugged into and then it's coming up into my SM58 mic here which I then have this is the uh, pop filter wind filter that comes with the mic it came with it at least when I bought it um, so it's nothing special um, this is all plug and play no special software or anything just plug it right into the phone and it seems to work um, and the level seems to be good for talking close to the mic. So you can see this is very directional. If I point this mic away and I keep talking to this, you can notice how far it drops off the other way. If I bring it up to my mouth, we're back to good, good uh, audio. If I bring it down like this, again, you're probably noticing it drops off. And I wonder if you can hear the breezes. It's really blowing right now. If I take it back up to my mouth, I wonder if you heard me when I was talking earlier with it farther away. 
So the breeze is really kicking up right now. You can probably see the trees in the background and can't see the flag above me, but it's really blowing. And so this is a good test to see if this actually works out in the field. Thanks. My name's Craig, craigship.com.